C64B 1984 variant. Let's take a look at this thing. Now, note it. King, my man. Dude, you're insane. Stop roasting the T64 too. King, you don't need to send me anymore. <sighs> I appreciate it though. Okay. T64B. Now, a lot of people were thinking A, B, that's only a one letter upgrade. It's not going to be able to compete with anything. What are they doing? They're adding a machine gun to it. Not the case. Now, the T64B has a different armor layout. As you can see here, it is extremely thick compared to the old T64. 480 against kinetic and 480 against chemical. 400 on the turret and 450 against chemical. The normal T64, if I could pull it up for you real quick, has, I believe, 320. 320 against kinetic, 450, and 400 and 450. So same turret, different upper front plate, and that upper front plate might make the difference between living and dying. You know, the uh, normal T64 gets APFSDS through the upper front plate all the time. I should know, I get smoked by it all the time. Now on top of that, this thing is sporting a nice thermal sleeve. We got some smoke dispensers here. Something in the back should be launching smoke, I'm pretty sure. There's a snorkel, some snorkel stuff, some rucksacks, and then there is a machine gun on top. Now this also gets better APFSDS, I believe. So we have the 3BM15 as a stock round, 420-ish mils of pen. We have the 3BM22, which is 470 mils of pen at normal ranges. We have heat FS with 440 mils of pen, high explosive, and of course, ATGMs. Oh, now the ATGMs, 650 mils of pen, and they're shot through the barrel. Now, the ATGMs change how many you can carry in the tank, I believe. I don't think you can carry as many ATGMs as you can carry um, normal rounds, which is interesting. That's pretty cool. Look at the top of that composite. It's pretty sick. Okay, let's test drive it. Now, it is still a 700 horsepower engine. The normal T64 is super fast, uh, but it's not fast in terms of long-term speed. It's fast, like, acceleration rotating. So let's see. Yeah, it definitely feels a little slower. Well, not slower, but it, it still feels like a T64. Now, this isn't aced, by the way. It's not. We have a leopard. Of course, is it going to die? I like that new animation. What's up there? Okay, that's an Abrams. This is perfect. We can shoot an Abrams. So let's go like this. Measure the Abrams. 725. It doesn't really matter. Non-pen on that lower plate. Aim a little bit higher. Driver loader on that. So we can get through that. Let's see if we can get through the turret on it. A little dispersion there, but we can get through the turret as well. So it can still pen, but I can noticeably see the fragmentation is pretty reduced on this. And it's going to be a tough nut to crack, which is good. The Abrams is going to be tough. Yeah, it's definitely soaking a lot of the damage. All right, so we'll move up to the ammo compartment. It's not gonna save it, I don't think. It will probably still die. Anything that's not an Abrams though, does get hit pretty hard. All right, what do we got? Straight to the center of him. Mr. Chieftain, how you doing? Oh, I missed. This thing looks great. So it launches four at a time, which is sweet too. It does feel very similar to how the normal T64 maneuvers though. So I want that to be noted. 300 viewers, thank you very much guys. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. It's very nice of you. Do I think the Leopard 2K will keep its 5 second reload? What is this tank's reload? Probably. We'll, we'll have to see, but it definitely should be fast. Now they're reallocating some stuff. Let's see where they're moving it from. 
moving it from the bottom of the rack. Yeah, this is not the fastest tank. It's definitely pretty slow, especially with all these tanks being added. Yep, everything's going to be posted onto YouTube later on. Nope, didn't kill the tank. Look at that. Ammo rack blew up, didn't kill the tank. You can see the fire from the ammo rack. It didn't kill it. Let's see the normal ammo rack, of course. It's protected. It's, it's extremely protected, it looks like. Oh, all the ammo's gone, though. There he goes. So, yeah, that, that ammo... I don't know about the top ammo rack, because I didn't hit it from behind. But going through the composite on the top did not kill the tank. And then going through the bottom hitting just the solo ammo rack, it didn't kill it. Which is pretty interesting. So, um, we'll have to see how that plays out. Reverse speed on this is trash. By the way. Just letting everybody know. Trash. Absolute trash. Alright, let's go get it, guys. Wow. That's a very tiny sight picture, my friend. Oh, yeah. Of course, Mike. That's how it's always been. That's fine. I think the majority of people are super excited. I just shot a puddle and it, it shimmered. That's dope. Non pen. Why'd I shoot that? Why'd I shoot that? No! Gotcha. Come here, Mr. Challenger. We are here. Oh, Russia is here. Mother Russia. Whoa. Oh, there's a leopard right there. What? I didn't test it necessarily. I have tried it though. It's it, like it's happened. I'm using the top shell. Attention to the designated grid square. Attention to the designated grid square. We got an Abrams over here. Cool. Look at that G91 in the building. <laughs> He's sitting backwards. Saw one cross. It is, this thing is still very slow in certain situations. I would say it might even be slower than the 64A. It might feel, it feels heavier. It's a tad bit. I don't know if mine's aced right now. No, it's not. So that might be why it's not aced yet. Damn it, dude. He went straight through the upper front plate at that angle. Well, that's like straight down on it. I guess that's how it works. It's a ton more. It feels like it's a ton more. Attention 
Yeah. Driver's hatch, probably. It makes a sense. The AG-177. That's so dope. I love that plane. What does that sound? Was that the tank going up? I think that made that sound. That's pretty dope. That MG sounds so good. I'm gonna hit this guy, hold on. No. That would've been great. Whoa, whoa. A little bit of a boost there. These G91s flying around so fast are hilarious. I wanted to try to kill him with the gun. Oh, he did go down. It sounds so good. It sounds so chunky. I love the auto, like the reloading of the auto loader. That ping, that quick ping of the shell getting ejected is great. It really sounds so good though. I can't get over it. The 50s sound great too. Listen to that. It's meaty. Eyes on. No, there's two of them right there. Sons of biscuits. You thought this was a game? 
No, my friend. This is no game. This is real life. Hello. You are me and I am you, but I am better. And you are a little different. <laughs> I was a terror since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing asses. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have the trade deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack, lounging black, smoking sacks up and axe inside kicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks.